Welcome everybody, hope you're doing really well today. Let's talk about some, uh, some censorship. This is kind of censorship, this is coming from the White House actually. And what do I mean by censorship? Well, I mean that the White House has decided to turn off all the comments on their YouTube videos. And so I went onto their YouTube page and I took a look at the videos that they have up there, the official White House YouTube page. So here it is, here's the channel right here. Here are all the videos and I'll get into that in a bit. And just to make sure that this is the official, the official page here, the official channel, you can see here description, official White House YouTube channel. And so let's go back to uh, the videos here. And um, where am I? Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. So we all remember that during the inauguration, when all of that stuff was uh, put on social media and was put on YouTube, the, uh, the dislike ratio was just off the charts and uh, the comments were obviously, you know, <laughs> not towards Biden and Harris's favor, let's put it that way. And uh, so, you know, they shut off all the, all the commenting and all the uh, like, dislike stuff for, for the inauguration videos and all, all that type of stuff. And the Daily Wire reported on this on January uh, 21st, that all the videos for, uh, for the Biden White House had been turned off, comments had been turned off on the Biden White House YouTube video. So they started to do this when Biden was inaugurated and the first, uh, the first couple of, of days and the first week or two into his, uh, into his presidency. And I thought, and I'm sure a lot of people thought this was just gonna be a temporary thing that they weren't gonna you know, shut off comments forever or you know, stop the like-dislike ratio stuff forever. I mean, eventually they would have to turn this back on because this is the president of the United States. This is a, a public page. This, this page belongs to the people of the United States. And so it would be odd to, to turn off comments and to censor the own president's you know, YouTube channel, social media channel. It's, you know, why would you do that? Remember when Trump wanted to uh, boot someone off, wanted to block someone from their Twitter account and the court actually ruled you can't do that because this Twitter profile is actually a profile that belongs to the office of the president. And thus this is a, this is a, public, a public profile. It's, you know, it belongs to the people. So you just can't turn off people's discourse because you don't like what they say. You can't block someone from following you. And that was actually a court ruling. So um, I'm really interested in this because why are they giving the Biden White House the ability to turn off comments? This, this, this isn't right. People should be able to, to sound off on, on his videos. But this is a very ominous sign here. Once again, we see a, a presidency in a White House that is going to really keep itself in the shadows. Remember what I've been saying for a while now, and that is that they're going to do whatever they can to get Biden over the, the two-year mark so that they can then run Harris for two full terms. If they can't you know, drag Biden over the two-year mark and Harris has to take over, then you know, this term will be seen as Harris's first term. And then she'll only be able to run for one other term. So their goal is to get Biden over the two year mark. And that means they're going to hide everything in and around Biden. Press conferences of 10, 15 minutes at most. I doubt he's going to be doing many, uh, many foreign trips. Um, expect more, more foreign leaders to come to the United States than him going abroad. Expect a lot of the G20 meetings and stuff like that to be uh, moved to the United States. And of course, with, uh, with social media, they are going to, to just about block any type of transparency or access to the White House. So as to avoid any comments that they don't feel are complimentary to the Biden administration. This is, this is all very, very Soviet Union-esque. <laughs> it really is. I mean, this is stuff that you, you'd expect out of North Korea, not the United States of America. But anyway, take a look at the, Biden, at the Biden White House official page here. 
First of all, you'll see the, uh, these are the latest videos 12 hours ago, 13 hours ago. So these are, these are videos yesterday, pretty much. The views are, are really low. I mean, my God, hardly any, anybody's really tuning into to what's going on at the Biden White House. But look at that number in red. Here you can see the like-dislike ratio. 16% likes to dislike. I mean, a super good like to dislike ratio is, you know, 90% and higher. That means a lot of people liked your, liked your video. And usually that number is usually in green. But over here, all the numbers are in red. 16%, 15%, 19%, 24%. Just goes all the way down. Four days ago, 19%, 13%. This had 349,000 views and it got three days ago and it had a 13% like to dislike ratio. So there you can see the little graph that popped up, like to dislike ratio. It is way low, way low. 30%, 35%, 21%. I mean, it's there is not one like to dislike ratio that is, uh, that is even above 50%. So that means everyone is just completely just crushing the videos. But even more to the point, when you get to a video here, all the comments are turned off. And this is a video from yesterday. Comment is off. Good afternoon. I'm... Another video. Well, good afternoon, everyone. With Harris here, Vice President Harris, and the second gentleman received the second dose of the blah, blah. Comments are turned off. I mean, just... Jem Saki. A, a White House briefing. Comments are turned off. I mean, all the comments are off. Folks, thank you very much for being here. I'm about to sign an executive order, but I want to begin by thanking the Vice President for help. Comments are turned off. I mean, it just goes on and on. All the comments are off. Every little thing that Biden does, every little thing, even just walking, laying a wreath, a wreath, a wreath laying ceremony. I mean, <laughs> just the most run of the mill thing, right? Comments are turned off. This is a, this is a really, really terrible sign, guys. Really terrible sign, very worrying sign. Um, anyway. Real short video, just wanted to, to let you guys in on that. I mean, he has some videos here. The early video, six days ago, has 482,000 views, 663,000 views. So the earlier videos from like six days ago, a week ago, have a lot of views for the most part. But I mean, their like to dislike ratio is just brutally low. I mean, people just... This is the guy, this is the most popular president ever according to the election results. This is the guy. Come on, guys. Come on. All right, guys. I, I wonder if, uh, does anyone know if uh, the Trump White House, I believe the Trump White House, they had all their comments on and people were, I, I remember when they would do live streams, people were chatting away and, you know, everyone was saying whatever they wanted to say. Trump's Twitter feed was obviously just completely open and transparent. So I think that uh, Trump kept everything open and transparent. And I don't think the like to dislike ratio was like this at all. Um, if anyone in the comments section down below, if they were keeping an eye on, on how uh, the Trump page was, how the Trump White House was running their YouTube page and their YouTube channel, uh, jump in on the comments down below. But this is a terrible start to the Biden administration and their YouTube presence here. And I imagine there's social media presence across the board, but no doubt that people uh, who are following or who are watching Joe Biden's YouTube channel do not like what they see. And uh, of course, in North Korean style, uh, in a North Korean style propaganda censorship maneuver, they have decided to shut off the comments. So a sign of things to come once again hiding Joe Biden in all areas of, uh, of life, in all areas of life, isolating and hiding him from any type of criticism, from any type of interaction, from anything. This is what we're going to see in the next two years. All right, guys, that's the video. Look for my channel on BitChute. 
Look for the Duran, our main channel as well. The link is down below. Look for Alexander McCurry's channel as well. The link is down below. Go to the Duran shop, pick up some merch. Here I got a Duran hoodie and uh, and the Duran royal blue t-shirt as well. You'll find all that stuff at the DuranShop.com. Link down below. Take care.